हेलो एंड वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल हाउस द जोस आई नो योर जोस इज हाई टुडे आई विल बिगिन विद योर इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक एंड दैट टॉपिक इज चैप्टर थर्ड करेंट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी एंड इन दिस चैप्टर द इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स आर इलेक्ट्रिक करेंट फ्लो ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक चार्ज इन ए मेटेलिक कंडक्टर ड्रिफ्ट वेलोसिटी दीज आर द थ्री पॉइंट्स विच आई हैव टू डिस्कस टूडे एंड दिस थ्री पॉइंट्स आई हैव रिटर्न हियर अकॉर्डिंग एज पर द सिलेबस विच इज द लेटेस्ट सिलेबस विच इज रिटर्न विच इज गिवेन बाई द सी बी एस ई बोर्ड I have taken a word to word that point. You can check in your latest syllabus. So, electric current. We have to define electric current. What is electric current? Electric current. We all know about the flow of charge. Charge are either positive or negative. When charge moves. with respect to time that is charge by time charge could be positive or negative so whenever charge moves from one point to another point with respect to time the rate of flow of charge the rate of motion of charge is known as electric current but on conductor what are the charges electrons so the rate of flow of electrons are known as electric current also but don't get confused because positive charge the flow of positive charge the rate of flow of positive charge is also current the flow of uh, electron that is negative charge that is also current but in case of on a metallic conductor few electrons are there and they move so when we measure the rate of flow of electrons then that is really current a normal current due to any ions negative ion positive ion in a solution or in any medium suppose any ion that is charge is moving then that is also current but the movement of free electrons with respect to time per unit time they are the current which are measured and they are due to the free electrons the motion of the free electrons i will discuss later about this but here the definition of electric current is i is equal to the rate of flow of charge and you know very well ampere is the unit of this one okay so q by t we have defined it now flow of electric charge in a metallic conductor come to this point on a metallic conductor when we talk about flow of charge this is a metallic suppose this is a metallic conductor cross sectional area a length l and free electrons are moving around the conductor free electrons whenever the conductor is connected by a source of emf like battery then electrons free electrons on the surface they get drifted they get drifted means initially initially if their initial velocities are suppose zero let initial velocity are zero then velocity v is equal to zero plus due to emf due to cell due to battery the free electron get drifted with acceleration a and this is the time t i will explain about t t is the relaxation time here what is the relaxation time relaxation time is the time between two successive collision of free electrons two successive collision here electron come suppose here is a electron another electron one electron collide with this and after another collision with this two successive collision this is the time of between two successive collision 
that is the relaxation time okay now this is the drift velocity due to acceleration a and this acceleration is how much this acceleration is how much a is equal to force by mass suppose we talk about a single electron a single electron when that will move in an electric field e capital e so you should know that electron is negatively charged particle so ne negatively charged particle always move just opposite to the electric field and one thing you should know that the direction of current is defined by the direction of the motion of the positive charge that is proton so positive current that is due to proton and negative current means generally negative actually positive and negative current is 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 not any fundamental meaning but it's only to understand about the sign convention that positive the electron moves just opposite to the proton this is why the electron is get drifted opposite to the electric field due to its sign that is minus okay so if we write f is equal to qe you know very well f is equal to qe here q means if you write in vector form so q means here electron minus e and e is the electric field so minus e into e is the force this is m means a is equal to minus e e by m this is the acceleration of a single free electron and this is the mass of a single free electron there are huge number of free electrons on the metallic surface and they are moving after connecting through battery all electron will get drifted with same acceleration if we take if you know the acceleration of a single electron that will be the acceleration of whole of the electron okay that means a is equal to minus e e by m this is the acceleration if you measure in uh, the unit in mk system it will be meter per second square so this is all about the free electrons acceleration when the conductor is connected by a source of emf that was the discussion of this topic flow of electric charge in a metallic conductor flow of electric charge in a metallic conductor i think it is visible to you now drift velocity come to the drift velocity what is drift velocity so drift velocity i think you have understood the velocity of free electrons after connecting the conductor by a source of emf suppose that is a battery then the velocity gained by the free electron that is the drift velocity as a whole what would be the relation of current and drift velocity that is i is equal to n e a v d v d means drift velocity here i will derive it i will derive i is equal to n e a v d where n is the number of free electrons per unit volume here number of the free electrons per unit volume e is the electronic charge that is 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 coulomb a is the cross sectional area and vd is the drift velocity i the current this definition is this formula is very much important for the sake of your exam uh, school exam for the sake of your concept reasoning and your board exams okay so we have to define it and derive it so let us take a let us consider a conductor and that conductor you can make the diagram of the conductor like that and this is the conductor suppose the length is l and cross sectional area v a and the acceleration of one electron just we have derived a is equal to minus e e by m equation number 1 and let there are 
take n electrons which are moving take in a unit volume take n electrons are moving so for one electron the final velocity v1 after collision let their initial velocity is u1 plus acceleration a t1 in the relaxation time here v2 of the another final velocity of the another free electron u2 is the initial velocity acceleration is the same t2 is the relaxation time per second similarly n if you, you say about the nth electron then the equation will be similarly written as like that here is the equation now we can add adding all the all the equations and equations you will get a very interesting result and that interesting result is v1 plus v2 plus v3 v3 vn and so on is equal to u1 plus u2 plus un and plus a t1 plus t2 plus plus tn now divide by n divide by n in both sides by n you will get don't get confusion in the second stage in second step i will write here don't don't get confusion here don't get confusion in the second step i will write it so if you divide n in both sides then v1 plus v2 plus vn divided by n it will give the result as this equal to u1 plus u2 plus un divided by n plus a t1 plus t2 plus tn by n and this is the average velocity of n, n electrons free electrons this is known as drift velocity mathematically vd so vd it can be represented like the it can be written like vd is equal to this much and this average initial velocity of free electrons that will be zero okay so it will be zero the equation here could be written as the equation the next step of this equation could be written as vd is equal to zero plus this is a and this is tau the average relaxation time now the next step can be written as here vd is equal to a means just we have derived minus e e by m to tau this is the relation this is the relation between drift velocity and electric field i think you have got this relation very important relation okay now if you want to prove i is equal to i is equal to n e a v d i is equal to n e a v d then it is more easier also at the same time i want to explain it that is i is equal to q by t q by t means here uh, you can write q by t q means n into e suppose there are n electrons per unit volume for this relation i am talking about this is the another relation for this relation i am talking about q by t q means n e and n is here number of total electrons since unit volume contains n electron therefore a into l volume contains n a l electrons so this capital n will be equal to n a l this n a l will be written here n a l into e by t that is i now it can be written like n e a n e a into l by t this l by t means velocity and this velocity is nothing but drift velocity therefore i is equal to n e a v d 
this is the relation means i have derived i is equal to n e a v d i have derived also the velocity and electric field relation so the drift velocity electric field relation drift velocity and current relation both derivation i have done in this class i think you have understood it and if any doubt we if we uh, you uh, you feel inside your mind then you can ask me on my phone i think you have understood and got each and every concept of this lecture but what is remaining now from your side to subscribe it thank you